I have great news for you. Drop a like in the next five seconds and your school will be canceled for the rest of the year. Don't risk it. Leave a like. We send five new gifts every single video. And if you want to win, simply comment your epic username and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you subscribe right now, you could be our 4.1 million subscriber. Welcome back everybody to a brand new video. Today we're uncovering all the new hidden Deadpool secrets inside of Fortnite and in addition taking a look at some new Deadpool rewards you guys can unlock and they're relatively easy so make sure to stay tuned so you guys can have all the new rewards and know exactly what has changed inside of Fortnite because we did receive a little update inside of Fortnite which did change some of the map locations and I want to explain to you guys what's going on. On. A huge shout out to everyone using code GhostNinja in the item shop. And if you do, let me know in the comments that you use my code. This helps you do all the massive giveaways on the channel, so it's greatly appreciated. So as most of you know, the Deadpool skin is our secret skin inside of this season. And as most of you know, is a part of the Marvel series set, which is no surprise considering we've seen this in the past when Fortnite introduced an LTM on which we could use specific skins and characters and even unlock new challenges which would then give us free rewards but now with their newest collaboration Fortnite Deadpool we have so much to still come and there's already so many cool things that have just happened inside of the game so as you know, when purchasing the battle pass, it does say, shh, I'm the secret battle pass outfit. Now, once then confirming that purchase, it will then say, I'm coming soon, baby. Now, in addition, as you can see on the bottom right of the battle pass trailer, it says battle pass now. Deadpool later so it's obviously here coming to this season and one of our biggest collaborations to ever happen inside of Fortnite because we've never seen something similar to this now for you to then acquire the Deadpool outfit you will have to complete all the weekly Deadpool challenges which can be found inside of the Deadpool lair now essentially all you have to do is complete nine weekly challenges and then once completing those you will then unlock the outfit on April 17th which is going to be a Friday morning considering we do receive the outfit and challenges every single morning that is then when you guys can expect a new skin so far in the weekly challenges we've unlocked a lot of cool and exciting rewards and we have some really cool ones to showcase for you guys today so as you know in week one when you found Deadpool's letter which did also showcase the new Deadpool battle bus which we'll hop right into you guys then would unlock a Deadpool banner. Now in week two, once then completing all of the challenges, you would then unlock the very first Deadpool spray, which in my opinion has to be one of the coolest sprays yet inside of the game. And in week three, you guys would then also get the Deadpool grenade spray, which I thought was relatively cool. And then with the week four challenges, when finding the two Deadpool katanas, which as you can see here are the locations inside of the HQ. And in addition, the 10,000 overall damage damage to opponent structures which i highly recommend to do so in team rumble and just get yourself a c4 and you guys can pretty much get this challenge done instantly you will then unlock the brand new deadpool katana's backling which does say wield with maximum effort part of the deadpool set and this to me is one of the coolest backlings yet inside of the game considering i'm a huge katana fan with the backlings i really like this one now let's reveal all the brand new hidden secrets for deadpool and in addition take a look at the new deadpool weapon because as you can see it looks to be the leakers of four and i have found out that the dual pistols will be renamed to the deadpool dual pistols and it will do 43 damage close 36 at a mid range and 32 at a long range and it's relatively very similar to the regular dual pistols although i do believe the rarity to the actual pistol might be changed to a marvel rarity kind of similar to like a mythic rarity i really believe it's going to be pretty rare to find and it's going to be a really cool weapon introduced inside of fortnite so stay tuned for that it's definitely something i'm looking very forward to and one of the coolest things i 
I find that's gonna happen is this because as you can see Deadpool wrote Fortnite this letter and said I came up with a cool redesign for the battle bus I bet my friends my good drawing arm you put this in the game Please tell your artist limbs are on the line and to add this right away now this was introduced inside of the season right away but this also means Fortnite will most likely be working on a design for the battle bus because we already have structures and textures inside of the game related to a whole new design for the battle bus and you guys can even see of what that may look like and in addition this is most likely going to be something that is going to be happening right around the time of the brand new weekly skin then coming out i would even assume a couple weeks after or maybe even for week five we all then unlock a deadpool battle bus once then completing the challenges so definitely stay tuned it's a really exciting time inside of fortnite and in addition most of you did see the revolving door inside of the trailer and if you guys want to check this out for yourself you can actually head Head over to weeping woods in this exact location this was also right where the mythic debug coin was located you guys can go right inside open up that revolving door and there's even a secret deadpool lair down below which you guys can see there's some tvs there's even a jail cell with a gnome inside of it which most likely is probably gonna be a weekly challenge at some point in time and in my opinion this is something relatively cool because they're even adding secret dead pool layers inside of the fortnite match and i think that's really cool considering it's also the secret skin leading up to it we should also have some really cool map changes which i think is already happening as well in the most recent update we did receive an update to the grotto which as you know is a very popular place and on the side of the mountain it now showcases a sculpture of a face now many people are speculating that this could potentially be related to the season ending of event and or all of the map changes leading up to Deadpool and this maybe being the Deadpool face definitely let me know your guys' thoughts on that because I find this really interesting that this has now just been added to the game. It's not like it was there when the season started. It's just something that has been implemented and something definitely worth mentioning. One of the coolest secrets inside of the TNT Tina room is if you guys actually change these three levers, you will then be able to see the smoothie backling pop out of the fridge. Something I found very interesting and something you guys may not know about and also you can even move the merman bobblehead which i think is relatively cool so if you guys want to check that out for yourself before we get the new weekly challenges definitely do so i kind of find it a pretty cool secret inside of the new hq as of recent fortnite's been doing a lot of cool tournaments related to if you do well you will then unlock some free rewards in games such as a skin pickaxe back bling and much more and as you know in the item shop we did then receive one of those skins which was the complex skin which in my opinion i thought was never coming to the game through the item shop i did have this skin the via the tournament which i find very interesting which was the solo summer smash cup now this also came with a purple jam back bling but us players that got it via tournament never received that and fortnite updated us on that because it says players who placed in top 10 of the australian open summer smash didn't receive complexes backlink in the reward bundle we'll be correcting this error with a grant next week which most likely should be landing for the update because as you can even see they have implemented the v1220 staging servers inside of the game so we should then expect the update sometime next week and once that update has been implemented and taken place we will then be unlocking the purple jam backlink and like i said before that is for the players that did unlock the complex skin via the solo smash cup so if you guys are one of those players stay patient you will have the backlink for free and it will be coming via the update this week now today's gameplay you're watching in the background is a 29 kill victory royale 
with also the new Deadpool Katana. So drop a like on the video for the insane gameplay. Because it's probably my highest kill yet inside of this season. And probably in a pretty long time. Considering back in the day I used to get some 30 kill gameplays and stuff. But ever since skill based matchmaking has been in the game. It's been pretty hard for me. But let me know your guys' thoughts down below about the Deadpool outfit. All the new and cool exciting things coming to the game. And as I stated before. We will be seeing the Deadpool outfit on April 17th, which is going to be the final week of the challenges. And even side note on that, you will also unlock the Maya outfit. So maybe even they will give it to us week 8. We might be able to get the Deadpool outfit a week early if you maybe complete all your weekly challenges as well. So maybe complete all your weekly challenges. That could definitely kind of tie into the Deadpool challenges. But as of right now, it just looks as if if you complete the Deadpool challenges, you'll then unlock the skin relatively similar to what we've been doing week to week every Friday. So stay tuned on the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I'll keep you guys posted. A lot of cool and exciting things to still come. And I'll keep you guys informed when we get all of the new intel. So thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.